Hey everybody, I'm Gabby and this is RVs with Gabby. If you are into camping and traveling, if you love RV life too, RVs with Gabby is the right channel for you. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching my content. If you love my videos, please don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification bell so you never miss another walk around video. Today, we're taking a look at the 2024 Forest River Rockwood GeoPro 19FD model. That stands for front den? Front? I don't know, honestly, because it's a front Murphy bed. So I feel like FMB would make more sense. But regardless, this little baby is just over 20 feet. It's 20 feet and two inches and just over 3,500 pounds dry. The GeoPro is a fantastic unit if you're looking for something with a little more quality and a little bit smaller size and a little bit lighter weight. It is aluminum framed and it's six sided vacuum bonded construction just like Forest River always does with their GeoPros. I do absolutely love how tiny and nimble this little unit is. She's a single axle, axle travel trailer that will not disappoint. So without further ado, let's check her out. Okay, my cameraman Alex is with a couple of customers today. So you've got me behind the camera, but check out this beauty. This one has been optioned with the front mounted bike rack. So you can put two bikes there up front in the front tongue and they are now coming with one solar panel standard, but you can also option a second solar panel on the roof if you'd like. There's a couple other options for the GeoPro. If you have a slide, you can get a slide topper. You can also option uh, the off-grid power package, which would get you a lot further if you like boondocking, if you love using Harvest Toast. By the way, when you buy from us at Blue Compass, you do get one month trial membership with Harvest Toast and one year of camping with Thousand Trails. So that is some benefits to buying with us at Blue Compass RV. Outside the GeoPro is really nice. You've got this clean looking fiberglass exterior, like I said, aluminum frame construction. There is Asdel in the sidewalls. Check out my information on FMB Friday videos about the Asdel technology that they have in the sidewalls instead of Luon. Up front, you've got the two 20 pound propane tanks. A little bit of a tongue twister there with the power tongue jack. And then there is a case to house your battery right back there. I do like that you have an LED light strip on the front there. And then you have a nice big awning on the camping side of this unit with the outside speaker there. Now, up front here, you've got a little bit of storage on the 19FD. It's not, it's probably about two feet deep and probably about three or four feet tall on the interior. So a little bit of storage there because you do have a Murphy bed up front here. I do like the uh, latches they use really nice and you've got the magnet to hold the door up there you can see that there's a little bit of storage in here actually full pass-through storage here pardon me so that would be the pass-through storage if you will it's not as big or as uh, tall as some other models but hey you're looking at a mini tra trailer here so we're just glad that it has it there is an elite series griddle here in a box and you can see there's some sort of table here those two would hook up hold on a second I'll show you where Right over here on this little metal track, every single Rockwood that we carry from GeoPro up to the Rockwood Signatures comes with this metal track. And so you always get an outside griddle. What's interesting is if the model comes with an outside kitchen, you get two because you'll get a griddle for the top here and then you get like the outside kitchen set up. But this GeoPro does not have that. Nice big entry door with a nice big safety grab handle. And then you have your step above upgraded steps that are adjustable. Check out these nice, kind of all-terrain looking Westlake tires here. You can see upgraded rims, and then you have a little yellow, yellow button here. This yellow button means that it has the tire pressure monitoring system already built into the tire. This is not only going to measure the pressure of your tires, but also the temperature to help prevent blowouts. Moving alongside the unit, there is another storage bay here that's going to be underneath behind the sink in the bathroom. So again, this is probably two feet wide, three feet, four feet tall. So a little bit of storage there as well. That's a pretty good amount for a unit that's 20 feet with no slide out, right? So that is what the camping side looks like. Headed around the back here. Oh, let me point out the upgraded Lippert uh, jacks, those quick drop stabilizer jacks, which again, I have a video on my feature and benefits uh, section of my channel where you can go check out how to bring those down really easily and set them up and there is a quick connect right there for the propane griddle that comes with the unit around the back you have a ladder here that gets you to the roof of the unit it is a fully walkable roof 
Folks, make sure you're checking those seals and getting it resealed at least once a year, maybe even twice down here in Florida where the sun is shining really bright. That is a normal maintenance item on trailers. Somebody commented and said, if you have to seal the roof of your trailer, something's wrong with the way it was manufactured. That is incorrect. Every trailer needs to be sealed regularly because it's caulk and it will wear as you, as you travel, as you enjoy it. So make sure you don't listen to that feedback and go get it checked out. Prepped for a backup camera, it's pre-wired. That's what that little nubbin is at the top of the unit. And you have a ladder standard. Right here you can see you have your black tank flush, city water connection, and then your antifreeze inlet in case you are going to colder climates and you wanna winterize it. Right here is gonna be kind of an outside spray port, but it is a shower, it's got hot and cold. So that's really nice, you've got both options there. Don't forget that Rockwood has a Forest River, or Forest River has an owner's group. It's called Frog Forest River Owner's Group. You can join them and, and venture with them on, on your camping travels. There is a little back hitch receiver here. The max capacity to load on this is 300 pounds. So you can put up to 300 pounds of stuff on that hitch. Maybe you wanna get a portable generator or you wanna get a tray to put some stuff back there, portable black tank, whatever you want. On this side, you can see the frameless windows. No slide out makes it really easy to pull. And also if you're really, um, if you're not a big fan of slide outs, this is a great little unit for two people, maybe three, if you have one smaller child coming with you. There is the gray and the black dump right there. And then uh, as you can see, it's a 30 amp power supply. I've got it plugged in right now. And then your fresh water tank fill is right here above your non-camping side tire. Excuse me. Moving on down, we have other side of that pass-through storage bay. You can see this is the couch that, and then your bed is back there. And then, I love the metal slam latches. Another little storage bay here. You can see you have your crank there. There's probably a power cord in that bag. Oh, and here's the docking light. So that is the, the switch for that front light. Check that out. Looking super nice. And that is the outside of the 19 FD. So I'm going to uh, pause the video and we'll come back on the inside. Okay. So when you walk inside the Geo Pro, keep in mind, this is on a fisheye lens. It's on a 0.5 lens. So it does seem wider uh, because of my phone lens. But if I did it on regular, it's kind of hard to fit everything in the picture. So you have this couch up front here. What I love about this couch is that you do actually have reclining, um, kind of a recliner sofa here. It's not like theater seats, but you have the ability to kind of have a leg rest. Let's see if I can open this up here. There you go. So there's a place for you to sit back, put your feet up, and your TV is gonna be right over the dinette here. Right across. Now, Murphy bed, very easy to work. Just be careful you don't pinch your fingers up top here. Now, obviously, I don't think I can set up this camera and show you how I bring it down. I will try but uh, this is the operation instructions. Now they've put a big old poster in here so that, yeah, see, beware of pinch point there. So basically you just pull the grab handle that's down by me here for the couch. So let's do this. Look at that, one-handed. I was able to bring that down. Then you're gonna unlock the latches there. I would pull from the bottom of the bed and then it comes right down. Now it does have a locking mechanism. So to bring that bed back up, you gotta make sure you pull that out or you can mess up the Murphy bed. So let me put this down a second and I'll show you what it looks like when it is all set up. There it is. And here is the Murphy bed all set up. Here's the thing. Little bit of walk around space on that side. You know, it is a 20 foot unit, so it is kind of hard to say. It's very difficult to get around that bed, I would say, because of the couch. You can't get all the way around to your nightstands. But, okay, that's the benefit of this Murphy bed is there's no folding the mattress. It just goes straight up and straight into its little uh, hideaway spot there. So nice window. As you can see, when you're sleeping, that windshield in the front is really great. You've got windows on both sides. There's an emergency exit here, which you can open for a cross breeze. And then you do have the roller shades in the unit. Oh, I guess this one is stuck down right now. You have a um, frameless window there, so you can pull that open as well. Let's check out the doors here. I know I'm moving slower today than I usually do, guys. I know I talk fast usually. There's a hanging closet on the left here. 
And then moving along the right, let's see what's in there. Again, another hanging closet for storage. So both sides have hanging closets. You have pretty decent sized nightstands for your water. You have a USB, USC charging ports there on the left and the right of this unit. And then you also have a 110 set of outlets there, which looks like it's hooked up to the inverter. So it's ready for CPAPs if needed. The kitchen here, nice little kitchen. There's an, a countertop extension right there next to your 110 outlets. You have four drawers for storage. You also have a space down here below the oven. Let's check that out. Just drops right down, gives you a little bit of storage underneath the oven. You don't have full access to the back of that cabinet though. And then you have a Magic Chef oven, your three burner cooktop, okay? You have a Magic Chef microwave up there and you have a Magic Chef fridge. So something that they did in this Geo Pro is try to match all of your appliances. So they're all Magic Chef. Before. You've got lots of cabinet storage up above the dinette here, which is great. Okay, and these are all really nice doors solid solid door frames here and the smart tv right there and then you have this dinette now this dinette's in the lock position or the travel position could probably sleep somebody a little bit over five feet like i said a kid the the table will lift up and the back of the table locks there's two little uh l brackets which will sit right there mounted on the wall to give it extra support and there's one leg that you attach to the floor there. So that is the dinette in the 19FD. Finally, you can see your solar controller on the wall here is reading. And you have your AC unit, which is a 13.5K AC right up there, which is great. You are ready with the Air 360 plus 5G. You have HDTV. You can get a gateway to unlock that 5G if you need Wi-Fi and on board. And stepping into the bathroom, porcelain foot flush toilet there. You've got a little medicine cabinet. Hey there. And on this wall with the towel rod holder or ring and another medicine cabinet here. Hey, again. So lots of storage. This one's a bit deeper. Maybe you could do towels and things like that in here versus this one might be like medicine and, and uh, you know, different stuff like that. There's a pretty big stainless steel sink here. So I do like that. You have a bit of counter space. There's a, a plug here as well. It's a protected 110 outlet. And then down below, uh, there is no storage. It's a false panel because that is the back of the sink and the outside storage. And then this little thing pops down. I mean, you know, making use of the space, what we can. Shower here, pretty decent size shower. It is a little narrow. Uh, left to right, north to south, it's pretty long. So you might have to stand sideways, but there's a skylight in there. There's a little pocket to put your stuff. And then as I've gone over before, it does come with a shower miser on board. This can save up to 40% of your fresh water tank capacity when you're doing that, you know, off-grid boondocking and you're filling your fresh water tank. And that basically sums up the 19FD Geo Pro. I hope you've enjoyed this tour. And comment down below, let me know what you think. Do you love this unit? Would you be able to handle this unit with no slide? And how do you feel about a Murphy bed? I know there's a lot of people that love Murphy beds and a lot of people who can't stand them, which is of course why they make different makes and models for everybody's taste, right? But that has been the 2024 Forest River Rockwood Geo Pro 19 FD. I'm Gabby at Blue Compass RV. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, happy camping.